hey guys so i kind of wanted to do a video on how you should approach okay hold on <clears throat> on how you should approach a company when you're looking to do a collab or work with them so it's just how to approach brands when you are an up-and-coming influencer on social media now the reason why i why i wanted to do this video is because as you guys know who do watch me i do have my own brand peach and pearl brushes link down below and we receive a lot of emails every single day because they found us either through youtube through instagram through twitter and they want to work with us they want to receive free pr they want to review our items but sometimes Sometimes I just find that there are some ways of approaching that is n less than ideal and it can come across a little bit unbecoming. So I've put together a list of some of the best ways to approach a brand so you can get the most out of a potential deal. Okay, so number one, when you're sending an email to a brand, use a subject line. Don't just leave the subject line empty. Like, I wanna know why you're contacting me. You want to make your email stand out. I want to know what the purpose of your email is, rather than me having to guess before having to open the email. Some emails that have no subject line, I'll leave till last. I might not even, or might not even open it because there's no subject line. So always use a subject line, you know? Secondly, don't use slang or broken vocabulary in your email. There's so many times that people have contacted my email and they're using slang and it just comes across as very unprofessional. You're asking to do some kind of business with me. It, it comes across a little bit sloppy. It makes it seem as if you're not put together. So I would always say to get the most out of that email, try and use correct vocabulary throughout the email. Always include your social links. There's no point in you sending an email, taking the time out to contact somebody if there's no social links. I need to know who you are. I don't, I, I'm not going to go hunting for you. And if you're approaching me, a company, we should have to hunt to find out who you are. You should kind of have that all ready and waiting at the bottom of your email. It should have all of your social media, links all of your uh, contact details all of that should be there ready at the bottom rather than a company having to come back to you and say okay well you're saying you're going to do something on social media for us so what is your social media link you think it's common sense don't just ask are you looking for promoters that is something that just like literally that one line are you looking for promoters i think that that's kind of like a closed ended question the person's either going to think yes i am or no i'm not someone might not necessarily be looking for promoters but if you are promoting yourself that brand might then want to start working with you even though they weren't necessarily looking for promoters because you sold yourself to them if you're leaving if you're just asking one question which either leads in a yes or a no answer chances are that the answer might just be no and you've just kind of cut the conversation dead right there as it stands so rather than just asking are you looking for promoters how about you try to sell yourself and promote yourself to the brand so that they are more enticed to want to have you on as their promoter make sure you have your social media pages open i will never ever ever get somebody who has a private instagram page to promote for me never simply because when you're page is private the chances of you ended up in the discovery section you're kind of just limiting yourself you're not going to get as much exposure from that person as you potentially could private pages just don't have as much like you can have 100,000 followers on your private page but then it's not going to be seen in discovery so you've limited yourself you've kind of put a blockade on yourself so there's kind of like no point and a lot of brands just do not work with people who are on private pages. State a realistic idea for promotion. So rather than saying, okay, I wanna promote your items, how do you wanna promote the items? Are you gonna be taking pictures? Are you gonna be making videos? Are you gonna be on stories? What exactly are you, what is your idea of promoting? Because anyone can say promote, but that saying the word promote can 
mean a million and one different things promote does not just mean one thing so I'll probably state how you're looking to promote I want to take some pictures I'm going to make some demo videos I'm going to put it on Instagram stories I'm gonna have you on my snapchat give some ideas as into what you're planning on doing with those items once you have received them because you need to kind of be on the same page and on the same level as that brand some brands may not just want you to take pictures they may want you to do a little bit more and if it's kind of up in the air and it's, you're kind of unsure of what you're going to do then that brand could be left feeling like well they didn't get it bang for their buck and they may not necessarily come back to you so just throwing out some ideas saying to them that you're open for some of their promotional ideas that gets the ball rolling and the conversation going and you can both get what you want from the promotion try not to be discouraged if you don't hear back from the brand brands get so many emails every single day i mean i have a very 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 small brand but I receive so many emails that I cannot I cannot respond to everybody and I will pick the best of the best of those particular emails to get back to if I am looking for promoters but if you don't hear back don't be discouraged still continue to email them not bombard them with emails but do continue to try and contact them because it shows that you are definitely interested in their brand, their products, promoting them, and you might just catch their eye. Someone who will just send one email, not hear back, and then never say anything again, it doesn't look as if you were that serious in the first place. Try and chase it up a little bit more if you don't hear back, because it makes it look as if I am serious about promoting your brand, I am interested in your brand, and I am interested in working with you, and that could end up with you having a business relationship with that brand because you were persistent avoid cut and paste messages okay this is definitely one of those things i have to be so serious about is cut and paste messages i've had quite a few people email or dm me saying oh my gosh i love your clothing range oh my gosh i love your cosmetics we don't sell clothes we don't sell cosmetics we sell makeup brushes so that just shows me that clearly you have a niche which is clothing or cosmetics or whatever and that's fine but you haven't changed what was in your original stock message and you've just sent it you haven't and that shows me that you haven't researched who we are you don't really care who we are because if you cared you would have done the research and clearly you're probably just there for the free product like okay whatever i can get from these people i'm just gonna get i'm just gonna email or message a ton of brands and hopefully someone will get back to me and hopefully i'll get some stuff that's how that comes across to me there's always more to what meets the eye so it just kind of looks lazy as well like i can't be bothered to see who these people are and do the research hence not changing what was in my original message so it just comes across kind of lazy if you are going to i mean I understand that if you're going to be sending out a load of emails and a load of messages to brands, you're probably going to use some cut and paste stuff. But if that's the case, change it. Make sure you know who you are emailing or messaging. Make sure you know what they do, what they sell. Because once they see that you haven't even bothered to change the content of that message, they're not going to get back to you. I certainly won't be getting back to you because it looks like you cannot be bothered to find out who we are. So I'm not gonna give free stuff to someone who cannot be bothered to find out who we are, what we do. Clearly you just want a freebie. Lastly, if you do charge for promotion, make sure you put your rate card in or attach your rate card with your email or your message there's been a few times where people have contacted me and wanted to work with me on, on promotions and do business deals and whatnot and it comes across like they just want to receive product in exchange for promotion but then two or three emails later that's when they say oh but i actually charge and it's like maybe you should have said that in the first place because that's not how the email came across in the first place i understand that you don't necessarily want to look like you are a money grabbing person but we want to know what your rates are if you have any rates or maybe it's worth just mentioning that you do have a rate and then if that person wants to get back to you 
then you can include your rate card but definitely mention that like from the get-go that you do have a rate and that if they are interested in working with you you're more than happy to send over your rate card so at least they know that they might have to put their hand in their pocket in order for your services because at the end of the day let's be 100% honest if a business wants to have you as their promoter why wouldn't they want you to eat let's be 100% honest like they're not going to survive off of makeup brushes <laughs> they can't eat makeup brushes they can't eat cosmetics and it's very it's fine for the people who are happy to promote in exchange for product but people there are people who do feel like they need to charge for their promotional services which is fine but if you do have a rate mention it so those are just a few tips and pointers for when you are approaching a makeup brand or any brand at all i don't think this is just for makeup i don't think that this is just for cosmetics brands or beauty brands i think this is for any kind of brand that you are approaching this is just like the basics of how to approach a, a brand and get the most out of your your contact with them and for you to look like for you to come across the best that you possibly can so hopefully you found this helpful if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one